So I'm here, guys, at Goodwill. Uh, looking through the jeans. Finally happened. Finally found a grail. Check this out. Levi jeans. They're small, but look at this tag. The Big E. So the Big E essentially makes them a little bit more valuable. Uh, they were made uh, before 1971. Uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, there could have been some. I heard some stuff online that maybe they produced some jeans after 1971 with the big E on them. Uh, but anyway, these sold for more than what most Levi's did. I paid seven bucks for them. They sold for $40 plus shipping. Uh, if you ever find a jean jacket uh, that has the old Levi, the big E and the old Levi thing on it, uh, they'll sell for a lot of money. Look them up on eBay. You can find jeans from the 60s with the big E. Uh, they sell for, you know, six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars $700,000. So when I saw this in Goodwill, I was like, holy cow, I may have something here. I mean, I made a good profit on them, but it wasn't anything to write home about. So, uh, but just keep your eye on them, guys. All right. Hey, you resellers and friends of resellers. So, um, yeah, uh, with those big E jeans, uh, they were a good flip, like I said, but you live and you learn. Uh, now I know what I'm looking for next time. Uh, but let me just go ahead and show you what I've sold uh, for the past couple of weeks, if that's what you came here for. Uh, I got some more videos and uh, stuff, uh, different kind of videos I'm going to do here in the future. Uh, but let me show you what I sold on eBay. All right, so we got this Rugrats sheet going on. Got it at a yard sale for a dollar. Uh, sold it for eight dollars plus shipping. And we got this old Cabbage Patch doll going on. I got it at a yard sale for fifty cents, and I sold it for five dollars plus shipping. And right, then we got this Adidas nylon. Uh, windbreaker got it at goodwill for five bucks sold it for twenty dollars plus shipping all right then we've got this miami dolphins uh nfl apparel polo got it at goodwill for four dollars sold it for fifteen dollars plus shipping now for the ebay orders i got this canada beanie got it at goodwill for two bucks uh sold it on ebay for 14.99 plus shipping i got this shirt going out got this at a yard sale for a little over a dollar I uh, sold it for $18 plus shipping. All right, make that seven for eBay. Uh, I got this uh, old weight belt, got it at uh, Goodwill uh, for a couple bucks. Sold it for $25 plus shipping. We got these Nike shoes, uh, Flex something or another. Pretty nice. They look like brand new. Got them at Goodwill for, I think I paid four bucks for them. Uh, but these sold for $18 plus shipping. And I sold them the other off the one. Pullovers that I had. Got this at Goodwill for four dollars. Sold it for twelve dollars plus shipping. Next item going out is this Calvin Klein hoodie. Uh, this is also I just purchased yesterday uh, from Goodwill. Paid four dollars for it at Goodwill. I uh, sold it for fifteen dollars plus shipping. All right, we've got a Kansas City Royals hat going out. I got this at Goodwill. Um, I think I paid two bucks for it. Sold it for $10.50 plus shipping. We got a Rams quarter zip uh, women's pullover going out. Uh, this is actually from when they were in St. Louis, uh, but I got a Goodwill for uh, four bucks. Sold it for $12 plus shipping. Sold a video game over here. This guy right here. Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Paid a buck for this at a yard sale. Sold it for $6.79 plus shipping. Right, we've got a hat going out. Got it at Goodwill. It's from Hooters. I uh, paid two bucks for this. Sold it for ten dollars and twenty-five cents plus shipping. We got a Funko Pop going out. Aaron Gilbert here from uh, Ghostbusters reboot movie with a pop protector. This one's not worth a whole lot of money. Uh, I got these at a bulk deal, a little over a dollar into it. Sold for four dollars plus shipping. And I sold a pair of tennis shoes here. Got these at Goodwill for four bucks. Cleaned them up, uh, but they only went for ten dollars plus shipping. All right, next item going out is this Orvis. Uh, it's a pullover quarter zip. Got it at Goodwill for $4. Sold it for $20 plus shipping in Facebook Marketplace. All right, we sold a Lego set. I got this open box uh, at Goodwill for $6. Uh, it's open, but all the bags are sealed completely. So this sold on eBay for $45 free shipping. All right, I've got a Funko Pop going out. 
it is a Fortnite one Raven here. I got these in a bulk buy. I'm into this for a little over a buck sixty. Sold for eleven dollars and seventy-five cents plus shipping. I got some shoes going out. Uh, it's the other pair of these youth kids Jordans. No laces. Got them in Goodwill. Paid four bucks for them. Uh, sold them for twelve dollars plus shipping. Sold this World Series. It's a brand new still hat from I think it was two thousand eight. Yeah. Phillies World Series hat, got it at Goodwill for $4, sold it for $13.50 plus shipping. Last item for eBay going out is this Victor adding machine. I ended up getting like three of these adding machines for an online auction for like really cheap. Somewhere around like four or $5 for three machines. I already sold one of them a while back for 40 something. This one went out for $15 plus shipping. We've got a shirt going out, it's right here on top. Only took a couple days for this to sell. Well, maybe one day, I think. Uh, I bought this at Goodwill for four bucks. It's a Tommy Bahama shirt. Uh, sold for $17.50 plus shipping. All right, I got a couple of stuffed animals going out. I actually got these last year, I remember, right before Easter. And I thought I was going to sell them last year, but they never sold. But I got this pair of Goodwill. I think I paid two bucks each uh, for these guys. Uh, but they sold on eBay for $17 plus shipping. First item going out for Facebook. Uh, this is one of those Ralph Lauren pullovers. I just got this in my last video, my last thrift haul. I paid four bucks for this at Goodwill. I sold it for $20 plus shipping. All right, we've got a sale on a old Coca-Cola item. This tin right here, it also has a Coke bottle opener in it uh, i got a whole bunch of stuff on that auction i already made my money back on them this one sold for six dollars plus shipping all right we got some corks going out i bought these at a yard sale for three bucks uh really it was a stupid pie <laughs> i just got to figure somebody might need them for crafts or something um uh, but i sat on them for like oh gosh two summers i guess yeah i just sold them for ten dollars and twenty cents plus shipping and I've almost sold all my, uh, here, I think it's this one here. Let me make sure these Top Gun guys, oh, it's the same thing. Yep, they're the same thing. Uh, I got this at Walmart, uh, Walmart Arbitrage, Retail Arbitrage, a while back. Paid 75 cents for it. Uh, this sold for $4.40 plus shipping. Okay, I sold these old vintage roller skates. Um, I got these online at auction. I was just looking to see what I paid for them and I don't remember I think it was like $13 but I don't quite remember but they sold for $38 plus shipping and I got this other L.L. Bean vintage uh, jacket going out it's kind of like a coat jacket mixture kind of thing got this at a yard sale for like a buck or a buck fifty uh, vintage L.L. Bean you want to look out for it this sold on Facebook for $40 plus shipping it's going to Texas we got a Disney winter hat coming out of here. That's a Mickey Mouse hat. There it is. Got this at Goodwill for $2. I think I sold it for uh, $11 plus shipping. Something like that. You'll see it in the listing there. Okay. We have a Halloween costume going out. This is Ray from Star Wars. I got this at a yard sale. Uh, and I got two of these Halloween costumes. She wanted uh, two for 10. I asked her if she would take seven for both of them. She said yes, so I'm into this for $3.50. And it's old for $14.50 plus shipping. All right, we got another Facebook sale going out, uh, which I'm really starting to like that. I'm gonna start listing a lot more on Facebook. That's just gonna Help me sell some more stuff, I think. But I got the Seahawks sweatpants. Got them at uh, Goodwill uh, for four bucks. I sold them in a couple days on Facebook Marketplace for fifteen dollars plus shipping. Okay, we've got a vintage game piece here. I'm sure, everybody's played this game at some point in their lives. Uh, Twister. It's a game board I got from an online auction. Um, let's see the date on it. 1966. 
Uh, I paid a buck for this. I think it was a buck online auction. Sold it for twelve seventy five, free shipping. All right, we finally sold this motorcycle helmet here. Uh, make sure I don't break anything here. I got this at a yard sale for five dollars. Uh, took an offer, or maybe I just marked down because I know the visor is broken on it. Uh, but anyway, I sold it for twelve dollars and seventy five cents plus shipping. Got a Funko Pop going out. This one right here. Uh, it's got a pop protector on it. The little plastic cover on it also. This is Patty Tolan. This is from one of the newer Ghostbuster movies. I uh, got these online auction. Some other Ghostbuster ones. I don't remember how much I paid for them. I know I made my money back on some other ones though. So this is all profit. Uh, this sold for a little over $5. Plus shipping. Got an action figure. Coming out of here, it's this guy right here. Uh, this is from that big action figure buy that I did. I'm into this guy for a little over a dollar. This is a G.I. Joe, or like an earlier or later one. Uh, he's from the Street Fighter video game, M. Bison, but he's missing his hat, as you can see. Uh, still a kind of a sought after figure. Uh, I sold him for, I think it was $6.25 plus shipping. And then I sold my other camera. I ended up buying two point and shoot cameras at a yard sale this past summer this one is a minolta uh the other one i think was a canon uh, but i paid 15 dollars for two cameras so i'm into this for seven dollars and fifty cents the other camera if i remember correctly sold for right around 30 bucks maybe it's 25 this one went for 13 dollars plus shipping okay we've got these sony dvd rw's coming out of here if i can get it out that there not forget to move it back of course uh, but I got these at a yard sale they're still sealed brand new I paid a buck for them uh, they sold for $11.50 free shipping then we got this movie going out uh, I ended up picking up multiple copies of this movie at Goodwill for a dollar uh, this one's Tideland I've never seen it before it's got Jeff Bridges in it uh, who he's in one of my favorite movies The Big Lebowski but this one sold for $4.25 plus shipping. All right, I've got this old Ninja Turtle going out. This is one of those ones that like transform from the turtle to like the fighting one. Um, this guy sold for, I think it was like $10 plus shipping, something like that. It'll say in the listing. This was one of my old toys when I was a kid. Okay, we got a Facebook Marketplace sell here. Uh, this sold in like a day didn't take any time for it to sell uh, which means I listed it too low bought this for two dollars a goodwill it's like a leather pouch uh, for like your golf bag to put accessories in and whatnot sold it for twelve dollars plus shipping okay we got another Funko Pop going out here <clears throat> this is from Netflix series the umbrella <clears throat> excuse me Academy this is Vanya I started watching this. I didn't quite make it all the way through it. I don't know. I couldn't really get into it, but decent show from what I hear. Uh, but this is going out for uh, $9 free shipping. I'm into this for a little over a buck. Okay, we've got this uh, old VCR recorder with a couple of blank tapes. I got this at an estate sale for two bucks. Had the book, had the remote, uh, and I had a couple of blank tapes, tapes and I just threw in with it to hope the make the sale a little bit better. Uh, but when I bought this, I really didn't look up the brand. I knew it was a tape recorder, so I was hoping it'd be worth a lot of money. Turns out it wasn't. Still sold for $17 plus shipping. All right, I've got a Callaway golf polo going out of this, going out of L here. And it's bright green. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. Say that it is so we got this Callaway golf polo going out. I got it at Goodwill. It was either four dollars or less. Sold for thirteen fifty plus shipping. All right, and I had my first sale on Facebook. Well, as far as shipping goes, it finally allowed me to start shipping on Facebook, and I sold this old Salem cigarette hat. I saw this at Goodwill. I had two of them. What a cool looking hat. It's like in brand new condition, corduroy. 
definitely from like the 80s, maybe 70s. Who knows? But uh, yeah, super nice head. Sold it for $25 plus shipping. Paid two bucks for it. All right, like I said, I've been keeping my eye out on the jeans. Old jeans, new jeans, whatever I can find that are Levi's pretty much. These are Levi's 560s. Uh, they're old, they're vintage. Pretty sure they are at least. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Well, I got these for uh, Goodwill for, uh, I think it was five bucks. Sold them for $24.50 plus shipping. All right, and the other Facebook marketplace sale I had going out today. Hold on one moment. Uh, this is a pretty cool t-shirt. Got this at the yard sale for a dollar. It's a vintage single stitch. Uh, it's like a motorcycle um, t-shirt. Pretty cool. But yeah, paid a buck for it. Sold it for $20 plus shipping. Right, we got a hat coming out of the hat. It's a vintage white snapback hat. I got it at a yard sale. For a buck. I'll have to shape this back out. But it's like a Union Carpenters hat. Uh, sold for $5.95 plus shipping. Got a yard sale for a dollar. Alright, we've got an action figure going out. This actually might be my first for real eBay local pickup. I know I mentioned that a few times, but usually the buyer just makes a mistake. But this guy actually lives close to me. So he said he's going to come by and pick this up. So this is that knockoff Rambo action figure. I got an action figure by. It's really not brand Ramo, Rambo, sorry. <laughs> but uh, he just looks like it. And it actually, it's sought after on eBay. It actually sells decently. So I'm into this for a little over a buck fifty, And I uh, sold it on eBay for 10 bucks. Okay, Saturday morning we got a... Uh facebook sale going out she's coming to pick it up right now and i'm glad i didn't have to ship it was this uh golf bag like for travel case callaway is pretty nice i got this at goodwill for uh 15 and uh she venmoed me 50 dollars. so i'm gonna go set it on the porch and that's an easy sale okay i sold my other vintage salem cigarette hat I'm honestly surprised it took this long to sell for both of these because this hat, both of them are like brand new, very cool, super looking old corduroy hat. Um, I don't know. If it wasn't a cigarette label, I'd probably wear it, honestly. I mean, it's a nice looking old vintage hat. This one sold on eBay for 20 bucks uh, plus shipping. It's actually going to Australia. The buyer is all in for this hat for over $52. Okay, down here in G, I have a Nike uh, pullover. This is probably it. Yeah, that looks good. Let me just make sure. Looks like it. Uh, I got this at Goodwill for uh, four bucks or five bucks, something like that. Uh, but it sold for, gosh, I don't remember. It'll show on a list in there. Uh, 12 bucks or something like that plus shipping. I don't remember. Okay, we've got a vintage Reebok coat coming out of here. There it is. It's like a windbreaker coat. Uh, so I got, I'm having trouble to remember when I got this. I think I got this from a yard sale, but for every yard sale, I probably paid one or two dollars Goodwill. It would have been like four bucks, um, but I sold it for fifteen dollars plus shipping. I don't remember what I paid for it. Yeah, we got a radio coming out of this tote. Um, these I got from an online auction a long time ago. I've already made my money back on it. But somebody was asking for a. AM FM radio for their mom or something like that. Uh, I ended up taking an offer for it, uh, but like I said, it's all profit. Sold for somewhere around seven bucks plus shipping. Then out of L, I 
sold some Beanie Babies. Uh, yes, that's right. You heard me correctly. Beanie Babies. I don't recommend you buying Beanie Babies. Um, they do okay. There they are. They do okay. Uh, but I buy them usually if they're holiday ones and I lot them up together like this. So this is like Christmas ones. They have the tags on them and everything. I paid 50 cents each at the yard sale. These only sold for $8 plus shipping. I don't buy them unless I get them for a dollar or cheaper. Uh, really less than a dollar. But like I said, you're not going to make very much on them. On a couple of them, you might make, you know, eight to ten bucks. So, uh, but yeah, there you go. All right, I sold these Disney Wonderful World of Encyclopedia books. Uh, I got these these past summer uh, at a yard sale. I'm pretty sure I paid a quarter a piece for these. Uh, they do have some damage to them, some water damage to the outside binding, but the pages look really, really nice. They all look like that, like almost new. Look at that, like they haven't been touched. So they sold, they went overseas. Now the buyer bought these for $29.99 uh, from me. And then all together, they're all in price to get them to where they are overseas. Uh, they spent over $150 for these. So yeah, global shipping program, I love it. All right, so we got a coat going out here. This guy here, I got this Adidas coat at a yard sale for a dollar uh when i was in junior high and that would be around 1993 94 95 something like that i don't remember everybody had an adidas coat like this everybody did but yeah paid a buck for it sold it for uh 40 dollars free shipping and we've got another cooler going out this guy right here I, I sold a lot of these coolers guys um this one cleaned up really nice this coleman lunch pack cooler this thing was pretty filthy and i cleaned it up pretty good i paid a buck for this at a yard sale uh this sold for 11 dollars plus shipping shipping cost on it was about 11 bucks so the buyer spent over 22 dollars for this cooler um but when i see these at yard sales and i get them for a dollar or two um, I, I see a $10 bill. I'm mean, that's pretty much, I know they, they take a little while to sell, but they sell every time. So 10 bucks, easy, 10 to $15, no problem. All right. Then we've got this, uh, JVC video camera that I bought at Goodwill. Uh, these things, these point and shoot kind of cameras, they do pretty good. Uh, but this one doesn't work. That's probably why I was at Goodwill. So I sold it for parts. Uh, I think I paid like six bucks for it all. Uh, but really what I probably should have done was sold these for parts, the batteries for parts, and even this case. I probably should have sold, sold this separately now that I'm thinking about it. But uh, this all went for like a little over $9 plus shipping. All right, this next item I found at Goodwill. It's right here. I'm gonna take this out of this plastic bag. But I found this at Goodwill, and it's a vintage zip up, uh, like a hoodie, and it says Bell Simpsons, excuse me, geez, Bell System Yellow Pages. Obviously, like Bell says, oh, that's not even around anymore. But it's got the old Aladdin tag on it. Man, I had this thing listed for a couple hundred dollars. It's perfect, it's very nice. I bet I had this for a year and a half and just constantly put the price down, put the price down. Nobody wanted it. I mean, sometimes vintage stuff does pretty good. And I don't know, sometimes they flop for me. Maybe I wasn't patient enough, but a year and a half, good Lord, I waited as long as I could. So I picked this up for five bucks and I sold it for a little over, uh, I think it was like $21.75 or something like that, plus shipping. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks again for coming by the channel. I really appreciate you stopping by and watching. If you have any questions or concern, leave them uh, in the chat comments right there, and I'll answer them in a video. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. And like I said, I've got some uh, more different videos coming up, things that I want to talk about. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks again, guys. Bye.